Hi, welcome to MedManus. This is Dr. Ram here. In this session, we are going to see about the anatomy of femoral triangle and the clinical anatomy of it. Let me start with the case. 50-year-old female coming with swelling in the right inguinal region for the past 4 years and pain in the region for the past 15 days. There are several differential diagnoses and femoral hernia is one of a differential diagnosis. And this is the area of our study today. Here you can see the femoral triangle. First let us discuss about the boundaries and then the contents and then go for the clinical anatomy. So the femoral triangle is nothing but a triangular depression on the front of thigh below the inguinal ligament. I'm going to construct the triangle in a step by step. So this is the important bony landmarks in pelvis. This is anterior superior iliac spine and this is the pubic tubercle. Remember, I have taken the right side. So, what is the ligament? This is the inguinal ligament that is going to extend from anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle and forms the base of the femoral triangle. Which is the longest muscle of a human body? Sartorius. So, the sartorius is going to extend from anterior superior iliac spine and gets inserted to the proximal portion of a tibia. So somewhere here. This is the longest muscle of a human body and forms the lateral border of the femoral triangle. And what is the medial border? This muscle is called adductor longus. So this is going to origin from anterior surface of a body of a pubis. And this forms a triangle. This is the femoral triangle. Okay. So the borders are adductor longus, sartorius and inguinal ligament. And the muscles that forms the floor of the femoral triangle are. Remember like A, P, P, I. Adductor longus, pectineus, psoas major and the iliacus. These four muscles form the floor of the femoral triangle. And the roof is formed by the fascia lata. So this is the fascia lata which is a very tough fascia in the in front of the thigh. So the content of the femoral triangle. Okay, so this is the femoral triangle. Starting from the lateral most, you can see the femoral nerve. Medial to the femoral nerve is the femoral artery. Medial to the femoral artery is femoral vein. And note that this artery and the vein is going to enclosed by a sheath which is called the femoral sheath. Note that there is some space here. And this canal is called the femoral canal. So the femoral sheath contains the femoral artery, the femoral vein and a femoral canal and the superior portion of femoral canal is called the femoral ring. So what is the content of a femoral canal? Lymph nodes. Fine. So how to remember this contents? Just remember navel. N for nerve, A for artery, V for vein and L for lymph nodes. Note that the femoral sheath doesn't contain the nerve. It has only the artery, vein and the femoral canal that contains the lymph nodes. Now, the clinical anatomy of the femoral triangle. Number one. So the femoral pulse can be palpated in the mid inguinal point. You can even draw blood from it. And number two. The femoral triangle is a very usual site for vascular catheterization. It's a very common point for vascular access. You can reach the right heart or the left heart, arteries like you can reach cerebral arteries or coronary arteries etc. There are lots and lots of procedures involving this site. And number three, the femoral ring is a very weak point. So femoral ring is the opening of the femoral canal. So this is a very weak point in the lower abdominal wall. Here the femoral hernia can occur. Hernia which means 
the protrusion of the abdominal contents into the weakest point. For example, say a small bowl. I hope this session is useful for you. Thank you. See you with more interesting videos. Yeah.